so right now spider-man is in another event called dark web right we still don't know what the conclusion to the the big opening one is with with why everybody hates peter whatever but it's dark web now and a bunch of different spin-off books with this whole dark web Ms. Marvel Dark Web has got to be me on cringeworthy and terrible. Absolutely terrible. New writer Samir Prezada, and forgive me if I don't remember his name because it's kind of confusing. Has I, I don't see him, he was a writer for the Ms. Marvel TV series, which you know, Bun tells you about it and, and not much else, one or two other things there, but not much else. And this entire book is just chock full of making Ms. Marvel look like the best thing ever. Like she's so amazing and a bunch of prolonged induced crap that doesn't, that doesn't seem to matter with anything at all. Absolutely anything at all. No, apparently, no, no, like I said, I, have, I haven't been reading this dark web thing, so I don't know what's the whole long I should have written and all of this, but I, what I do know is that apparently um, Chasm and Madeline Pryor are doing some evil stuff and apparently um, I think Ms. Marvel went through some portal and ended up in the underworld. So start off with her in the underworld and a bunch of demons show up and they're going to they're going to just kill her, right? Now this would have been an interesting thing to see her having to, to, to navigate through the underworld and you know see what's going on and, and, and see her probably have to learn different things. It could have, it could have made something out of this. No. Instead, she starts baiting the living crap out of all these demons with her giant fist things that, that she always that she always does. That whenever it comes to it, whenever it, whenever it comes to Ms. Marvel, always with some giant fist. And she she's just baiting the crap out of them. And even the demons and all that say she won't stop talking. Because she just keeps rambling on and on and on and on while she's beating them up. And these demons can't seem to stop her. She's just beating them, beating the hell out of them. She's absolutely amazing. And they, they have no way whatsoever of stopping her at all. She's just tearing them apart. She's even thinking like, you know, um, she, she's, she's, um, um, then she's terrified. Um, I thought, well, uh, but whatever it is, um, no, she's just going to destroy them. I'm going to very reluctantly build a throne atop your pulverized bodies because conquest might be the only language you understand. And you're going to apologize for treating your guests this way. And I'm not going to shut up until one of you shows me the way out. So yeah, she beating up is one thing, but she's also not going to shut up. And then she goes on, you hear me? Starting now, you are all stuck with a cranky teenager as your interim leader. And if there's no Wi-Fi in this joint, that's going to be a problem. Why in God's name does hey, this have to do with anything? And she was certainly sort of demons, desperate to get rid of her. You know, open a portal, send her back. They don't want that. Hey, 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 boy. Hey, this was terrible. This was absolutely terrible. This was clearly the writer trying to get Ms. Marvel over as the best thing ever. And it does not work. The character has never been popular with, with people. And every time you can have her with these giant hands. I think she's just basically like a tokenized version of Cap of um of um of um, Mr. Fantastic. Only only Mr. Only Mr. Fantastic is much better. But no, you only ever see Kamala Khan growing large, getting, get, getting these giant fists and smacking things around. That's it. But if you think that the, if you think that, that the absolute stupidity of it all ends there. No, when she gets back to New York City, apparently the Jersey City Mosque has been animated and now is now alive. Apparently Madeline Pryor was putting low-level demons into these, <laughs> um, into inanimate objects and making them move and these are demons that don't really get that also so they're kind of vicious and want to destroy things so the so the jersey city mosque is walking through the river and doing all of this you know whatever the hell that is supposed to mean there's also these weird things with some birds that are apparently like um you kind of birds that are kind of clones of Leonardo da Vinci, Nikola Tesla, um, 
Marie Curie, Thomas Edison. I, I don't get it, but apparently it's something like, I mean, I, I think it turns out that bird DNA helps stabilize some kind of cloning process, something like that. I, 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 don't, I don't get it. I, I don't care. It's just ridiculously stupid. So Ms. Marvel is fighting these birds and some robots and thing and, you know, um, Miles Morales Spider-Man shows up right to help her and they're there and she tells him that um, she needs him to go and um, check on the Jersey City Mosque. She will handle this. She needs to wear a rescue everybody. Okay, so he goes off there and listen to this stupidity, <laughs> to this stupidity. When she gets home, meanwhile, at the mosque, the people inside the mosque are trying to speak to the, are, are, are trying to speak to the giant mosque building, right? Now, keep in mind, as I said, these are low-level demons that have been put into these inanimate objects. And now, now they're moving and they want to destroy things and all of that. That's what they are looking to do. No, no, not this mosque. Listen to this very carefully. Is that tough? Excuse me, brother mosque. Why do you automatically assume I'm a brother and not a sister? So, already, you've used the wrong pronouns when it comes to the mosque. I prefer the non-gendered name JCM. That's Jersey City Mosque. Mother of <laughs> I'm not Muslim. But I, 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 if anybody, if anybody watching the video, is a good term. Me. As far as I'm aware, there is no part in the Quran that talks about proper use of pronouns. So I, I don't understand why this mosque would even be like that, but it, it, it gets worse. Listen to the carefully a little bit. Yes, I understand and apologize. We just wanted to ask why you are climbing the skyscrapers of New York. This is, this is what the mosque has to say. Isn't it obvious I'm trying to get away from the Muslim community of Jersey City? They make a mess in the bathrooms. They argue with each other constantly about what they eat is going to be when it's supposed to be a joyous holiday. And the older men on the board cling to their authority when they should be training the next generation. Spinal so 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 um, Miles Morales shows up. Peace be upon you. Can I ask what the situation is? Our community is so prone to infighting that we've ostracized our own mosque. I mean, you could clearly see three things here. One, the writer clearly worked on the Ms. Marvel TV series. You could clearly see that because these were some of the things I was seeing in that that, that, that kind of told me because there was, there, was, there was no reason for them. I mean, like, like I said, Ms. Marvel is, it is, it is a Muslim okay. What that into the story, but no, they were just putting that out there and listen. She's Muslim, you need to love it for that, nice one. Two, you, you can very, very clearly see that the writer has problems with his own local mosque or something, and, is, and he has been pained by Marvel to use that to plaster it all over this book for whatever reason, I don't freaking know, but that's, that, that's what's happened here. And three, this clearly has nothing to do with the dark web series, whatever it may be. The only thing that this, that this book is, is an attempt to, to raise Miss Marvel up as the best thing ever. You understand me? Take pot shots at the Muslim community and then wrap it up in this whole, um, you know, dark web nonsense. I mean, what are you saying here? Maybe it's just me, but I, I find this to me, I find all of this talk about all, this, all of this pronoun use. And you know, the, the, the owners look at it. I find this thing to be very insulting to the Muslim community. And the fact that Marvel is perfectly okay with it because this is a low level demon that wants to destroy things. But because it takes possession of a mosque, you understand me? It, it, it doesn't want to be misgendered. So you must use the right pronouns. You understand? Because it is not a it is not it is not a, it is not it's not male or female, so it must so you must use the right pronouns one. You understand? Also 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 it wants to get away from the from the Muslim community of Jersey City because they are all so terrible to the point now where you have somebody say that you know our community is so prone to infighting that we've ostracized our own mosque. So, Beyond stupid. It's just the only one with the put it. Beyond stupid. You think it's that bad after Ms. Marvel 
beat something in the, the burns for whatever God or flurry is that I'm going to get into. It turns out now that you see her and Spider-Man on the mosque. And listen to it there. It turns out the mosque just needed someone to talk to. So we listened and then they, because you can't call the mosque male or female. No, no, that's the wrong, that's the wrong pronoun. So the mosque has to be they. You understand me? Hello, wings, and here we are. So the mosque just needed somebody to talk to who would understand its pronouns. And when it didn't see everything got happy, the mosque grew wings and started flying around the city. Hi, yay. Yay, boy. Hey, then, then, Miss, then, then you see Miss Marvelous, they're amazing. Okay, here's things, so like, here's, um, here's Miles Morales. What was really amazing was that after everyone was safely outside the mosque, they stayed to listen to. It was a nice group conversation with JCM. That's what we call them. They've all agreed to make some changes, and I think the community here is going to be better. We're going to be closer for it. How exactly does a, 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 a demon that's been placed inside of a building and become animated suddenly somehow have all It's not the same. One said like the like, like, actual mosque itself came alive. It isn't. But again, this is the crap that has been done. This is it. This entire book is just meant to kiss Ms. Marvel's ass and, and let, let everybody know she's the best thing ever and proper up even though sales on this book. Nobody likes Ms. Marvel. It's not getting over at all. Two, push pronouns down your throat and three, use this and, and just have the right to use this as a way to vent their own problems that they have with their local mosque. This is the kind of crap that, that Marvel keeps putting. Well, this is what gives me up. I tell you, I'm not reading this dark web thing because as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't make any sense. You started off with something involving Peter Parker, you abandoned it, and now you've jumped into this dark web thing. Without wrapping up what has been going on, I'm not interested, and I have, as far as I can see, the majority of people are not interested in this dark web. But this, this Miss Marvel, this Miss Marvel dark web number two has to be some of the worst I have ever seen. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. Have a different opinion. I'd love to hear it. If you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell. You'll notify every time I put out a new video. And I shall see you all next time. Take care.